Now, I was uh, walking through the hallway here before airtime, and I couldn't help but stop the two in studio guests. They were actually supposed to be gone probably at dinner or something fun. And I said, no, you got to come on air with me. So now here they are, Sam Tripoli, Eddie Bravo. You guys are on a comedy tour right now, Tin Foil Comedy. Tin Foil Hat, Hat comedy. comedy, yeah. And uh, it's been a great tour for you guys. you got a couple events here, so you were brave enough to come into the InfoWars studios. So uh, welcome. I'm all about the action, dog, you know. Listen. I'll talk to anybody. I, I'm, I like InfoWars. I like, I'll, I'll go anywhere and talk. I like talking. Nobody could tell that uh, by the Alex Jones show today. <laughs> nobody, nobody <laughs> it's actually tough for someone to get more airtime than Alex Jones, but you might have actually hey, accomplished that. But, but we barely heard from Eddie, so, so I got to hear something. This whole time. I'm, I'm just no, 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 no. I like that. I like no, no, no. no we're, as long as, we're as, long as I agree with, with, as long as I agree with what's being said, I don't care that it's coming <laughs> out of someone else's mouth. I'm like, it's the message. It's not the message. Well, there's so much to get to. You guys obviously have a lot of content that you cover on your podcast that would be considered outside of the box. Yeah, his podcast is Tinfoil Hat Podcast. I'm a guest sometimes. I'm like a regular. You're, guest. you're kind of just a, you kind of just float around. You yeah. never really know where you might find any problem. I'm not. Uh, I, the stopped, I, I stopped doing my. You're podcast. a nomad. I stopped doing my podcast. I deleted all the episodes. I'm like, oh, you know because what? you were afraid of the the mob coming after you for something you said. Um, that and and also I. I I don't want to be a host of anything. I don't want to be the, a leader of any movement. I don't want to be out there. Like what Alex Jones does and what you do, man, that's, that's a lot of work, man, a lot of stress. I don't want, I realize after doing like 60 some pod. Well, and you got, you got a family, you got kids. You don't want to yeah, deal with it anymore. Yeah, I, I got a jujitsu right. association that I'm running. And, um, you know, and I sprinkle in comedy every now and then, you know what I mean? You know, I, I I still produce music every now and then on my own time. Everything's on my own time. I I'm not uh, I'm not doing comedy like a real comedian. A real comedian goes out every night and is fucking grinding. Man, he can't I, stop I cursing. Can you notice this? Do this I guy, can, yeah, he doesn't well, even you know do it. Podcasts all the time, right? So you're, you're allowed to go. You guys dump that. Make can sure you guys you beep that. that out, please? We got What's we got going on over here? We got rid of it. Okay. <laughs> It's all right. It's all right. So but I know I know you well enough. I know what you like to talk about. I know how to have fun with you. But I, I'm not really sure. What are, what are you into? What are your issues? What do you lizard like to people. talk about? Lizard. I heard you talk a lot I'm about lizard about, people. I'm more about geopolitics and what people like to do to get the power and keep the power in the games they play. That's what I really enjoy, you know. I love, Eddie's my boy. He's probably my best friend. And, you know, he's a flat earth guy. And I'm cool with that. I'm open minded to everybody. I but my stuff is like geopolitics and you know, who this ruling class is not and I love talking about it. I have no illusions that I'm gonna change anything. You know, we always say after a show we came, we saw we changed nothing. So that's kinda what we do. I just enjoy like trying to see when the pieces all fit together and you're like, Whoa, that makes sense. You know, for me it's like if you try to study history to the best of you know, you can. And then you take who gets the money, who gets the power. If all that lines up, you, you're probably on to something. Yeah, but if you look at where we're at right now, I think with the media and with news and politics, it used to be that InfoWars was really outside of the box, but not so much anymore, right? I mean, everybody saw what happened to President Trump. Uh, they've seen the big tech censorship. You know, they're admitting with the weather weapons. They're admitting that they're spying on everything, right? I mean, that was all stuff that InfoWars was talking about for 10, 20 years. And so, so now we're like in a unique position where we're trying to explain it to the general population that's just kind of getting caught up like you said, trying to put all the pieces together. But with, with you, Eddie, in studio, and, and Sam, is, this is an opportunity for us to go even further outside the box. Like you say, issues like flat earth. Now, I am, I've always said I'm open-minded whenever we talk about this. I'm not, I'm not a flat earther. But you're not married to the ball, right? No. In okay. fact, I would, no, I'm willing to admit that whatever math that we have for the current size and shape of the earth is, has been proven wrong. I mean, it's been proven wrong. You can't deny it. That's just, in my opinion, a fact. Now, has the earth been proven to be flat? No, I don't think you can say that either. No. I just think that there are certain things you can look at and say, well, maybe the, the size or the shape has, has, not been, has not been discovered yet. They say 70% of earth is water, right? And water always finds its level. But, but let me ask yeah. you this. Right, so that's one thing. Like, and then they've never been able to recreate the whole centrifugal force holding in. I, I don't want to get into all the ins and outs of it. Damn, you know a lot. Look at you. I've been down every rabbit hole. Yeah. Me, me and Owen, it, a couple years ago, a couple years ago. No, a couple it'll mess years me, ago. It'll mess you up. I was trying to, the last time I was on the show, we got into a big flat earth debate. And he was like, n nowhere near. That all got banned. All of that, it was hours of content. That's all banned now. How crazy is that? Right? I know, right?
How crazy. Why are they banning it? If it here's my Well, flat earthers get banned on YouTube. So I feel like I'm that's that's kinship with me. I get banned for my politics. If you if you look at the list of things they want banned, and eh, you go, well, if these are things that we're all mutually agreed upon, then these videos say they're not real. Why why are you afraid of discussing it? If if they're so real and beyond a doubt why are you afraid to discuss it? What do you think is going to happen? If it's real, real, and these people are watching the videos, they should come to the conclusion that it's all garbage, too. There's more going on. When you study history and this dark art stuff, you realize that this long con has happened for a very long time to teach everybody what is up is down, and it's not. Well, here's here's what I've learned from working at InfoWars for, for over three years now and, and really just being – quite frankly, obsessed, perhaps at a psychotic level with, with this news and information, is I, I'm able to identify propaganda like, you know, like what, like a nose on a person's face. It's like your gay dar. You know yeah. the guy when you say you <laughs> no, know Okay, well, let's call it that. Here's a, per, here's a perfect example, though. Uh, I, I saw this story today, uh, and it's, it's the number one story. It's, it's going viral on Twitter with this hashtag, and, and once you read the hashtag, you realize what it is. But Trump's communications with foreign leader are part of a whistleblower complaint that spurred standoff between spy chief and Congress. The real story is Trump's being spied on every day. Now they're trying to blackmail him with the illegal spying. But they roll it out like, oh, we caught Trump maybe committing treason. We don't know with who. We don't know who gave us the information, but it could be. We're spying on him all the time. But, but the response is, oh, my gosh, we finally got the thing to bring down Trump. So to me, that's like I can spot that a mile away. The reason why I say this, they just did a flatter special on Netflix. I think it was maybe Beyond the Curve, I think is what's called. It's a hit piece. And so I watched that. And again, I'm not a flat earther. I'm just a guy that is obsessed with learning every angle of every issue. So I've been down the flat earth rabbit trail. And I, and I watched that documentary. I said, this is not what flat earthers are. None of this. There's a couple things in there that, that I think go into the flat earth movement, the real one. But overall, so, so, so I'm right to think that that was basically just a hit piece against flat earthers. Yeah, that's total propaganda. Total propaganda. The guys, because the guys that they put in that documentary, I'd never even heard of. And they say, F leaders of the flat earth. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> they didn't put Eric Dubé in that, you know what I mean? No, no. They didn't, they didn't put Nathan Thompson in there. They didn't put uh, Rob Skiba in there. So do you think he's crazy as a flat earther? Nope. Uh, here's the thing about Eddie. When I go, me and Eddie, we agree on 95% of the stuff. So I go, the five stuff, the 5% is stuff that... I just haven't looked into that much. So I go, if, if we agree on all this stuff that nobody else probably agrees on, what's going on with the flat earth? I just, it's just like, it's just, it's not my focus. I love, I just really enjoy, love there's a lot, geopolitical. There's a lot of closet flat earthers out there that don't want to admit it publicly because they feel it's going to discredit all the hard work that they put into like either 9-11 or, or, uh, or, or whatever. Oh, I see whatever what you're saying. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, see and I know, saying. you know how I know this? Because they tell me this personally. I had people that I, that uh, when I used to do my podcast, um, I don't, I can't say. All right, we got to take a break. We got to take a break. We'll be right back. Same thing happens to me, though. Like, I'll say something critical of a Trump policy, but no one else in the media is, they're all afraid to say it because they don't want Trump to think they're bad or something. You know, it's like, hey. Welcome back to the Infowars.com War Room, brought to you by Infowarsstore.com. Eddie Bravo, Sam Tripoli in studio. I like it when I have multiple guests in studio because it goes back to the old talk show format instead of me up here reading news, uh, droning on, hearing myself talk. I'm sure the crew gets sick of it. Uh, we get to hear from some other people, and it's just, you know, it's like just some guys sitting down for a steak, sitting down for a beer, talking about, thinking about what everyone else is talking about and thinking about, but you don't see it on TV because it's too taboo to talk about these things. Like, for example, why is Jay-Z at the top of the entertainment industry after all the things we've seen him go through with Marina Abramovitz and uh, the uh, pop culturization of, of gangster hip-hop? But the people from the other side of that coin, Tupac, Biggie, well, they're dead. Nobody knows how they died. Those were basically Jay Z's biggest competition in the '90s. So, you know, there's but this, that's just you know. Conspiracy. There's this whole thing about not only just like being killed, but also like being framed for crazy like sex crimes and stuff like that. And a lot of it has to do with. Um, this whole thing that you like, if you're a CIA plant or FBI plant, uh, they grow your profile up and. But at some point, the puppet wants to be a real boy, right? And they want <laughs> to, like, yeah. not play the game anymore. And that's when you tend to get taken out or destroyed socially. And, and it seems like there's a certain level you reach where you can still kind of get out with your life. 
if you play the if you play the cards right, I think there's a couple people that uh, we've seen do that. Like for example, uh, I'm sure you guys are familiar with Bob. Yeah. Right. He used everything. In fact, he had a track called Magic. Every everything he was on reached the top of the Billboard charts. Like five hits in a row. Then he starts rapping about flat earth, uh, central banks, uh, you know, stuff like that. They take him off the radio. His last two albums you never even heard before. Yeah, yeah dude. But he, but he stopped being a conspiracy theorist, though. So he's trying to get back in. I'm not too sure what's going on. If, I don't know. But he took uh, all, all his posts on Instagram down. And, and now uh, all you see is just music posts. And like it seems like. Uh, or he doesn't want to get shot. I mean, that's yeah. what. Doesn't want to die. Man. Doesn't want to get Epstein. Yeah. You play the game. And if you try to get out of the game, they don't let you do it. They, like if you don't get. If you get big on your own, they don't care. But if they make you big and then you try to go do your own stuff, they well, that's a, and that's the key right there. Is if you've made yourself, then you, you can make it on your own. If somebody else made you and they pull the rug out from under you, then you have nothing to stand on. There's nothing you could do about it, and you see it all the time. I mean, I believe all manufa all um, cultures manufactured. That doesn't mean that there aren't people who've worked their way up and. Like, let's say gangster rap. And now I'm sure there were great underground gangster raptors that weren't CIA plants. But the highest levels, the as big as they got, dude, it's all controlled. How many how many apps have tried to be the new Twitter? How many websites have tried to be the new YouTube and they never go anywhere? And by the way, what separates a company like Google or Amazon from a competitor? They have government contracts. I mean, how much money is Google or Amazon getting right now dude, on dark, dark money contracts from the government? Probably millions, billions. I don't know. Who knows? They don't need to make a profit. They're already in. Yeah. In fact, so so Trump goes out. It's all so complex, man, and it gets so frustrating sometimes. Trump had a couple of fundraisers in California. He flies out to California on Air Force One. Guess, uh, guess where whose uh, whose port he had to land in? I'm not sure if it's Air Force One or a helicopter, but. When he made landfall, guess guess whose base he had to land at? Google's. That's how complex this stuff is. Google, I mean, it's yeah. crazy. You, you don't even think about this. Well, it's like the guy, the guys, the guy's been rich in 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 New York forever. Like you're a billionaire in New York, you're gonna rub uh, elbows with crazy people, dude. But he gets elected, uh, and everyone's going nuts on him because everybody he's uh, he's putting to his staff are are crazy pe uh, these corrupt people. But it's like that that's all that's around there to pick from. Yeah, it's like, hey, dude, don't pick a rotten apple. But you got to pick from the rotten apple, you know, patch. Well, and I just call I see it like Trump has hired more ex-lobbyists. This is a fact. He's yeah. hired more ex-lobbyists than Obama or Bush. He's also put more women in power in his administration. I mean, these are just facts. These are what we report on. But, Eddie, let me ask you, uh, let me ask you this before we got four minutes left in this break. I want you to just tell me, what do you think happened to Jeffrey Epstein? Do you believe that he was killed in jail or do you think they snuck him out? It, it could be anything. I don't know. I mean, there's all these different scenarios. Maybe, maybe uh, the Patriots thought, okay, he's arrested. We really don't need him anymore. And the trial don't start till next June. And we can't really raid that island until next June or after the trial's over, really. It's probably better if he's dead. So let's let uh, the, the bad actors, let's just like, because it really, if, the whole uh, Q phenomenon is like, a, it's like a giant sting operation. And maybe they just let him get suicided and they watched it and they documented it. Well, it had to be an inside job. I mean, there, it had to be an inside job. I mean, either he's still alive and they just, you know, they the, pff, witness protection program or, right. uh, or uh, the deep state had him suicided. Um, he definitely to me those are the maybe, only two logical maybe, options. Maybe he killed himself. Maybe with toilet they, they, paper. No, I don't know. I don't no. know. Maybe he did, and they wanted it to look like he didn't. You know, maybe I don't know. Maybe the Patriots fucking killed him. I don't know. Again with the f bomb. I'm telling you, you guys are used to the podcast. It's like we have to have an Eddie Bravo timeout or something. Jesus, I'm sorry. What 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 do you think? Well, I mean, if you look at every one of these weird situations, all these coincidences happen. All the cameras are always off. It's always the same thing, and all these questionable, we'll say, false flag situations. So here's this guy who is the most important witness in the history of time. Okay, he he has the keys. Whoa, whoa, whoa. 
That's only if you want to stop industrial level pedophile sex trafficking. Okay, good point. So within that <laughs> genre, he's very important. And you just hear everything that was going on before. Uh, his lawyer was there. Some mysterious young chick is there just hanging out. He's raiding the condiment. And like, that almost to me is like, oh, one last conjugal visit, you know? Like, mm. Just set, maybe like, setting him up. Either way, he's either alive, and there's as much inf chance that he's alive when they drop the charges so quickly. Why do they drop the charges so quickly? Oh, he's dead. But why? Oh, he signs this will off to someone magically, and now because of Trump's act they push where they can seize your assets if you're connected to uh, sex trafficking, now whoever got the assets never has to worry about that. Yeah, and they're still actually fighting that in court right now. It's, it's, it's still crazy. And meanwhile, Maxwell... Uh, is still roaming around Boston, living her best is life. Is she in Boston or France? I, I heard Boston. Maybe she is in France. That's why they haven't arrested her. By the way, we're about to go to break. We're going to continue this conversation. But I just got to say, you guys should be models for the Infor's Hexagon logo zip-up hoodies. I mean, that is your look. Oh, my. Are you challenging Alex Jones to a catwalk competition right now? Have you seen him? just walking, hanging out. With hold on, hold on. Get out in front of the stage. Look at this. You guys didn't know Sam. Oh my gosh, he's taking it off too. Dude, I just I gotta do that weird. Do you double as a? That they always do this thing. Nice. It's the Infowars zip up hoodie. If you want to be like Sam Tripoli and trendily carry it over your shoulder, so hot. Hold on, a breeze just kicked in in San Francisco. Yeah. Just got back from San Francisco. Oh, zip. It's late night in L.A. Sam Tripoli zips up his InfoWars Hexagon logo hoodie. Oh. What does he have in the pocket? Hey. hey. Oh. Oh, his cell phone. Cool. Now he's getting spied on. Hey, nice. Hey. There it is. Sam Tripoli models the InfoWars Hexagon logo hoodie. That, that was incredible. So As a child. We probably just sold 10,000 of those. Oh, probably. Unbelievable. You get no cut, though. I feel like uh, I'm playing you get nothing. in uh, college sports. I'll get none of that action. <laughs> That's right. You get nothing. If you profit off the, off of your likeness, we want to sell 10,000 Hexagon logo hoodies off of Sam Tripoli's likeness and give him zero dollars. Guys, buy a hundred hoodies. Hey, I've got a big announcement right now, guys. This is huge. Are you guys ready for this? Yeah. Actually, well, I'll just do this right now. Uh, so <laughs> apparently, the well, the Area 51 raid was going to happen this weekend, uh, and then it got called off, but people involved saying basically you can't stop it. Is the government going to nuke them? Uh, well, I guess we'll find out. Now you've got the Navy admitting that the footage coming out is real and all this crazy stuff. But I'm ready to make this announcement right now with Eddie Bravo sitting to my right. Whoa, whoa, whoa. When the aliens land in Area 51 this weekend, Eddie Bravo will be the official representation from planet Earth to be the first person to make contact <laughs> with the alien <laughs> life form. Thank you. Thank you for taking this. Thank you for taking this opportunity for planet Earth, Eddie. I am... Honored. <laughs> oh, good luck with that. So, but seriously, though, after you're finished talking to the aliens, no, you don't believe any of this, actually, do you, Eddie? Believe what? That there's UFOs or aliens or anything I mean, else? I have a, a tattoo on my left arm. It's my first one. A gigantic alien. So I was balls deep in the UFO community. It used to be that if you were a conspiracy theorist, you believed that the government was covering up UFOs. That was like the big one. That was, yeah. you're a conspiracy, that's what a conspiracy theorist was. But now it's not any. Now we've we've learned. If you like, pay attention, you learn that shit. They were pretending. Can't stop cursing. Oh, <laughs> it wasn't an f bomb though, dude. The so I don't know what the rules were. Ratings. I don't know what the rules were. Is that the rules of radio? Beeps get your ratings, and that then we have a Mexican chicken here shanking you. Look at look right. at Bob Lazar. He's, yeah, what do you think of Bob Lazar? <laughs> he's alive. First of all, he's got a he's got a documentary on Netflix. You know that's. What's up with Netflix? You know that. But uh, Netflix used to Netflix used to have used uh, to. in plain sight, nine eleven documentaries, the Zeitgeist. I mean, they had some good stuff on there. What Once happened? you get big, they buy it out and look at Vice. They are all Who's gone. Is, is Netflix like uh, Silicon Valley? No, I'm not disagreeing. I'm just pointing okay. stuff out. No, I'm just telling. Okay, he's still alive. He um, has a Netflix documentary. He was on Joe Rogan's podcast, and then he was on, and then he's on Larry King's podcast. You think that shit's legit? Oh, I'm sorry. Oh my gosh! Whoa. There's a original Bob oh, Lazar. Okay, right I there. believe now. So he, <laughs> we converted Eddie. I believe it. I don't know why, but I do. Man, he can't draw at all, can he? That's uh, it's a nice blueprint. When when this when do you do this? Fifth grade. Looks like a German saucer.
right out of Nazi Germany. Yeah. <laughs> they were building UFOs. But back, back. So then what? Okay. No, so, then, so back then, when I was into the UFO uh, uh, community, uh, when you would see pictures and, and, and documents about um, the Nazis building UFOs that looked just like that, we looked at that and I looked at, at that as proof more evidence that ufos really existed because in order for the nazis to build these things they must have found a crashed ufo and reverse engineered it so that was proof but now i look back at it and i'm like oh now i know what they were doing they were trying to scare their people uh, into thinking that they're being attacked by aliens so that the people who's going to protect the people the government yeah, but when hey, the aliens about, come down I've who seen, are you going to go to i've seen the astronauts the in thing. space they're floating <laughs> You got me, dude. I've yeah. seen it. All right, you won. You won. You won. No, you can't do that. <laughs> I know you. I know you think I'm BSing you right now. <laughs> hey, man, I've, I've, I can't believe you beat Eddie Bravo. You're like the Eddie Bravo killer. You're stumped. We've already stumped. been down this road too many times over a <laughs> I'm gonna fifty you, ounce steak. Did I? Did I, I sent you the video of Ro the Rob Skiba video where he goes through all these declassified documents from NASA and CIA and and U.S. military and these are documents like the original Project Bluebeam stuff. No, no, had nothing to do. Had nothing to do with. No, I mean it's the same thing. It's like make something up and then make it the big story. No. These documents were had nothing to do with flat Earth or space or the moon or anything in space or stars, but they were they're NASA documents declassified. And Rob Skiba, he's a very well known uh, flat Earth researcher. He's like right up there with Eric Dubay, except Rob Skiba's uh, into the Bible as well, and Eric Dubay isn't. But they're both pretty popular. So Rob Skiba's got this video, go to his channel, and he's 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 on NASA.gov going through these declassified documents of. Um, uh, uh, documents and, and, and testing of uh, calculating uh, the motion of missiles in high altitude aircraft. Like this, it was all about calculating whether you're talking about trajectory or speed or interceptions of missiles in high altitude aircraft had nothing to do with space. Nothing. It was all about calculating the motion of high altitude aircraft, military aircraft, and missiles. And all these documents, and there's a bunch of them, and Rob Skiba goes through all of them. And he's on their website and goes, look, in order to calculate the motion of any of these aircraft, you have to, the, fir the first assumption is you have to assume that we live on a flat, non-rotating Earth. Flat, non-rotating Earth, over and over and over. It has nothing to do with space. Has, and in order to get the numbers right, in these calculations, in these computations, you have to assume that we live on the craziest conspiracy theory ever, a flat, non-rotating Earth. But like you said, that's actually out of the Bible and out of most ancient history. No, most are, most are, religions claim the Earth is yeah, flat. Yeah, what Earth happened to the Coriolis plane. effect? I what you know, what, hold on. Yeah, what, okay, what happened to the Coriolis effect? Like, oh, you have to, snipers have to calculate the spin and the rotation of the Earth to, to, um, to hit their targets. You know, at, at a certain distance. See, I like playing. I kind of just like being the devil's advocate in this thing because I can play it off both ways. Like, I can make people that believe in the ball earth drop their jaw, and then I can drive flat earthers like Eddie Crazy just by asking the right questions because I know. Asking the right question. Aha! Touche. No, no, can explain that. Though? Like, if, there, if there's on. documents, there's like the NASA thing. Them, like the NASA thing. No, no, let's get a joke in. Okay, here's my joke a, uh, a Satanist, a Nazi, a. Uh, 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 a Scientologist and a pedophile walk into a bar. What do they do? Invent NASA. <laughs> that's that, good. That's a good. That's a good. Job. Well, yeah, Operation Paperclip. A lot of well, people yeah, don't know dude, about that. That's who invented NASA. I mean, when you think about who they are and what they represent, you got and that you know we're kind of talking off here about like all these people play ball. They're they're insanely rich now let's take a look at scientology and disney i mean they're insanely rich if you're in on the game they take care of you so you never turn on the game if you're in epstein's black book yeah oh you yeah, know like you're probably good. handler hello who does a documentary on netflix disavowing her whiteness it's the most pathetic thing i've ever dude, seen in my i life. saw her sex tape she sent out to get gigs are you serious oh yeah that's dude, a real I thing i watched it it's, i'm sorry well, about that are like, you okay listen, do you need therapy what I mean, dude, she's hot. She's hot. Hey, dude, listen, I always say <laughs> you can sleep your way up. Go for it. It's just don't do a doc about, oh, making white privilege, blah, 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 or your privilege, blah, blah, blah. You had, you had something that trumps.
white privilege, and that's vagina privilege, okay? That's even higher up. It right? actually would sound better with the P word, but we can't yeah, say but, that on but, it. but, uh, you know, he's so used up the all yeah, the yeah, yeah. so far. So, I so like, here's that. an example, though. Like, uh, here's, because, again, I'm just open-minded to this stuff, and I, I'm naturally inquisitive, and until I see something with my own eyes, I really have some doubt, no matter what the case is. But like, for example, one thing, because I have friends that are flat earthers, I love talking to them, and, uh, like, one example of a thing that'll drop a ball earth or round earther's jaw. They just can't wrap their mind around it. No pun intended. You say, how come, if the earth is rotating, right, how come the flight from New York to L.A. takes the same time both ways? If the earth is rotating, it should be different going yeah. one direction, right? Or how come your plane is never, like, flying like this? Yeah, how come you're not nose dipping the whole time? Yeah, the whole time. You just yeah. go right into space. Owen's done his homework. I've done my homework on everything, yeah. man. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. It's psychosis in, level. In 18 you. months, you're going to be an open flat earther. In 18 months? Will it be cool then? I'm only going to do it if it's cool. Oh, dude, flat earth chicks love to get weird. Because no, 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 you know no, this no, from no. Experience? Don't ever do, don't ever do, uh, don't ever admit that you're a flat earther. Oh, I've heard horror stories. I have a friend unless, who's literally, unless, his mind is so blown by flat earth that he'll bring it up first date. He, it's like eight girls yeah, dumping. Not, yeah. not on the first date. <laughs> you can't even bring up. <laughs> That's what I told him. You I'm can't like, even bring up. Hear that? On a first date, don't, don't even bring up anything about YouTube or nothing. You, not the first day. What's YouTube? I've never even heard of it. Before? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I just study yeah. science books. I don't I know what you're talking about. All right, we'll be books. right back. I read. I am a time, I'm an interdimensional time traveling Abraham Lincoln. I respect that. That's why I'm younger now than I was. What city, what city in Missouri is the nicest one? Like the, nice, the nicest city in Missouri? The most beautiful, nicest city. I don't know about that. Mizzou is no, a great not. college, dude. They got the Ozark shows there. I got kicked out of Mizzou. Uh, the girls there are like L.A. hot. I partied too hard for Mizzou. They, cooked, they kicked me out. What city is this? Because you went too Columbia, hard in the paint? Missouri. I went way too hard in the paint. I would too, dude. They we booted just, me out of there. Hey, we just got a new t-shirt design from Alex Jones. Eddie Bravo's agreed not only to be the first man to wear it, but also be the first man to wear it on the moon. Exactly. So we're really excited to send Eddie Bravo to the moon. I can't wait. In the brand new Operation 51st State t-shirt. And then, after Eddie promotes our brand new t-shirts at InfoWarsStore.com, available now, you're then going to hop on over to the 10th planet, Planet X, right? Yep. Talk to the Anunnaki? Yep. I yep. love my... I, I did. Elon I'm trying Musk to is figure out Anunnaki that. in the simulation. How that could work, because... Do you believe Elon Musk actually launched a car into space? That's a no. Again, I'm I'm like, I have to see things with my own eyes, because I don't know. Maybe it could be. It could also be CGI. I don't know. Did you, you believe in nuclear weapons? Weapon? Gun to your I've head. Seen the Gun to your head. Gun to my head? Gun to your head. You have to make the choice uh, right now. Uh, I'd say it's real. Oh, oh shit. Yeah. Gun to my head, I'd say it's real. How about nuclear weapons? You think those are real? Well, uh, have I mean, you seen any? There have been videos. This, I mean, they release videos of, of what? They claim of what? they're nuclear bombs. Of, of but I don't know. bombs you know, being knocked out? I guess it could be hydrogen bombs. Yeah. Or it could just be CGI, too. Like, you don't... Okay, so, Eddie, you don't think anything from space is real. I mean, you think it's all CGI. Well, gentlemen, no, I want to get back to this. What I, I want to get back to this for a moment. Hold on, hold on. They can hear you. Hold on. Go ahead, Alex. Here comes Alex. Well, no, it's just this. I don't get mad that, <laughs> okay. that Eddie thinks the world is flat, okay? He knows the world is flat, shake Alex. Weight he knows right it. There? Is that a shake weight? <laughs> what? <laughs> you got a shake weight? Hey, you ought to use that on your next yeah. stand-up. Well, what is that? Shake weights. You remember those things that they were... What was that on? Oh, it's a shake weight. <laughs> now, but let's get serious real quick. Um... God, I've gotten old like Walter from uh, Big Lebowski. <laughs> hey, hey, seriously, though. It's okay to think different things than other people. It's okay to have debates and discussions. It's okay to question mass shootings. It's okay to believe whatever we want, especially we've been lied to so much. That's very healthy. It's extremely healthy, and I think it's a good thing. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. That's why InfoWars is so important. That's why what you guys are so important is that we're questioning the establishment, and more and more it's being proven they're a bunch of damn liars. Like today on my show. They're admitting geoengineering exactly as we said. It's all just out in the open now. It's just crazy. But Facebook is blocking people, women at shooting ranges now, saying that's part of a terror group. That's on Infowars.com. This is official. So first it was banning my name a few months ago in positive use. Now it's the NRA. When you were saying we were having lunch. Damn, they're pushing too far. There's be some backlash. Yeah, I'm waiting for it. Instead, Trump's like, oh, yeah, let's see what red flags you want. You know, because Beto wants them all. Now people won't do something reasonable. Well, 
I know people say, well, Trump's doing rhetoric. I understand that. I don't think we agree with their rhetoric and then watch them act like idiots and ask for all the guns. We say, no, it's the drugs that these people are on that are causing this. The drug inserts admit that. So I think we go on the offense exposing their asses instead of putting up with it. Well, also, there's also the four black, the four men in black uh, military fatigue that's seen in every single one of these events that nobody ever wants to talk about. That every and that's what I'm getting sued about. I was in the Sandy Hook lawsuit here in Texas, and the guy, the deposition's online, and he goes, you know, you made that up, that... Uh, there was a man in the woods, and I'm like, and then everybody went online and looked up all the newscasts and video of the guy in SWAT gear. His mainstream <laughs> media was reporting that. But they're, but they're literally saying I made that up. And all I'm saying is, yeah, I questioned it, because some things are real, some aren't, like babies in incubators to give us the Iraq war. That was an actress in Congress. No babies were thrown out. They admit that. They admit all that stuff. So all I'm saying is, yeah, man, I, get, well, I don't believe any of this crap anymore. It's like mass psychosis. But the people that believe all the stuff they're told are really crazy. I didn't say I have psychosis. I said it's a mass psychosis when you don't know what the hell's real anymore because they lie so much. Yeah, it's kind of like, you know, the whole theory, if you go into virtual reality enough, you won't be able to tell the difference. Exactly. Between reality and virtual that's the reality. Best. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. That's creepy. Exactly. No, the thing that's so crazy is about all the lying and the people who always buy the lie. But we're the crazy ones. I don't know where this schizophrenia thing came from. It's become this narrative everywhere. Dave, you're a conspiracy theorist. You're a schizophrenic. I, I don't hear voices. I don't hear any of that stuff. I just keep score. That's the difference between us. And you have a memory. You have a memory. But who score. acts like a schizophrenic? You're not the one afraid that there's a racist well, around every really corner. You're not the one that's scared of guns. You're not the one scared of Trump. Like, that's the real paranoid schizophrenia. Yeah. Yeah. Come to the moon. Visit the moon is free. Visit Folks, I'm excited me. about this shirt. Visit me on And we need funds. They're trying to shut us down. I don't want to tell you, but we're kind of winning right now. I need some money to run this operation. Thanks for doing it, <laughs> listeners. <laughs> Eddie Bravo is going to actually be the first U.S. ambassador to the moon Fuck. as well. Oh. oh, my gosh. Five. Sorry. Five. Is the Mexican going to get mad at me? She's yeah. Already mad. She's, she's distracted right now. right now. Yeah, she's getting ready to shank you. Yeah. <laughs> We're all hoping it happens. Amazing that. So, but here, here, here's what we got. Final segment here. Eddie Bravo, Final. Sam Tripoli. By yes. <laughs> by the way, he just walks. I'm not, I'm, not I'm, hey, I'm not saying I'm pissed at Trump. I'm not saying I'm pissed at Trump because I want to get brownie points with a crazy ass left. Because since I've been bitching about Trump about a month or so, just trying to get him to do the right thing. All of a sudden, I've been contacted. Hey, this can all stop. Just come out against Trump. Come out against the Second Amendment. I told those people, piss up a rope. That's not what I'm doing here. But I'm not selling out for Trump either. You understand? Yeah. Well, that's, not well, that's if anyone ever said to me, piss up a rope, there'd be fighting words going on right there. There'd be a throw down and there would be a punch. You want to get in my face? Piss up a rope, dog. Exactly. <laughs> Jump in the lake. Jump in the lake. Piss up a rope. Fly a kite. Fly a kite while you piss up your rope. That's what I'm talking. Hey, don't leave me hang on on, on national. Yeah, yeah. You guys are going to be back on with Alex tomorrow, right? Oh, yeah, yeah dude. I got yeah. more stuff. To Would you quit hogging them, Alex? Quit hogging their intellectual capacity over here. We're trying to make a breakthrough with Eddie. I'm trying to figure out what's going on. He, he, he's Eddie has so much in his Eddie's brain right now. Look at he right now. He's like he's like he's like I will take NASA down with my information, but it's too soon. I love NASA. I forgot. You work for NASA, actually. Have you heard about the, uh, the the guy who invented NASA's tombstone? No. Have you ever told tell him that story? That's the, the guy who invented NASA's the, tombstone. Yeah, tombstone. The guy who invented it. Yeah. Well, created it. Oh. Oh, you mean the logo? Invented. Invent is not the right word. Why? The guy. Someone. In, you can't invent a tombstone. No. Wait. Hold up. Hold up. Invented NASA his tombstone. Oh. Oh. A Warner von Braun's oh, oh, you know, okay, the Nazi Psalms nineteen one. You know what that is, right? Uh, it, is that the one that mentions the flat Earth? <laughs> well, Warner von Braun, the guy who uh, directed the six moon missions, all of them. He was the main dude at NASA. A big astrophysicist. He's a Nazi. He was Hitler's right hand man. He was Hitler's rocket man. In Huntsville, Alabama, you weren't allowed to say that until the nineties. Uh, on his tombstone, and you can look this up, you could Google Google it. Warner Von Braun tombstone, Psalms 19.1. It's on his tomb. It says names on the tombstone, and then it says Psalms 19.1. And that uh, that verse is, uh, goes something like, uh, Are you going to sing the, it? The, <clears throat> the heavens declare the glory of God, 
and the firmament the firmament showeth his handiwork. So that he puts a you know on his tombstone he puts a verse that talks about the firmament. Here's where I definitely am at. Here's the exact quote. Which that, is the dome. The heavens declare the glory of God and the firmament showeth his handiwork. Here here's what I am because I think this is the easiest way to explain it is I'm a creationalist. I believe this was created in t- intelligent design. For sure. 110%. I believe that. Alien. I believe that. Whatever. Call God an alien. I mean, it's, it's, it's alien to us. Well, you know that in the Bible they talk about how uh, the Virgin Mary was abducted by aliens and they ran, uh, they had a sex party up there and everyone got I don't shot. know if that's exactly no, that's how. exactly in the Bible. <laughs> everyone got shot? No, everyone got a shot. I'm trying to keep it Christian for your radio show. And that's why you can walk on water uh. and turn water into wine because he was an alien. Dog, Jesus the Big J was an alien. That's why he got alien in him, dog. That's breaking. I believe it. I'll, I'll, hey, alien. question everything. You know, that's where I'm at. I love question that. everything. It's more fun that way too. That's what I'm saying. It's like, why would you want to? Why would you want to believe that you're pond scum and a parasite on Earth? That existence sucks. Yeah. No wonder these people want to have. The, they they live in this death cult. Yeah. <laughs> They I hate themselves. That there's two parties that one really cares about you and one <laughs> really hates you. It's I don't like, even want to get into that. They're man. all to work it together. I don't even want to get into that. And it's real. all black nobility. That's how you know how secretive black nobility is that there hasn't been a rap group called Black Nobility. That's how Do you want to start one? And powerful they are. All right. Well well let's let's just do one can you guys just do five more minutes, short break here. Or do you guys gotta sure. go? No, we'll do one more set. All right, I want to get the crazy. Let's do this. A whole other hour. No, I'm just kidding. Let's let's try to get the craziest thing from both of you in this next five minutes. Just the craziest thing you think, the craziest thing you've ever read or or, or believe. On the other side, we'll be right back. If you are receiving this transmission, you are the resistance. No, no, no. Trudeau was just dressing up as Aladdin. To me, that's We're back live, by the way, guys. He's got the hat. Just, on just. Everybody. We got five minutes left with these guys, so I want to get enough time. All right, all right. Here, let's do the craziest thing you you think you believe you've ever read. We're on. Yeah, we're on right now. We're I, live. Can everyone check out my special real quick? It's at samtriplee.com. So that's the craziest thing. Is your special? The craziest thing is I think. Uh, I think the Jesuits have affected all religions. They at some point they inserted a book into the three major religions that changed the course of those religions: Judaism, uh, Islam, and uh, Christianity. And they put stuff in these books that got everybody else fighting with each other. So there were the original thoughts, and then there was these new books, which is the Bible, the Talmud, and the Quran. And but I respect everyone's religion, but. That was done to get everybody to fight with each other. Yeah. All right. That's pretty good. I was actually going to get into some of that stuff because that's like you talk about all these ancient cultures and what history have they hidden? What do they know? What Serpent secrets? versus What are they eagle. hidden from each other? What are they shared with one another? Like uh, the Vatican. I mean, the Chinese Empire has been around for thousands of years. Uh, then you kind of have the New World Order, Illuminati, which started in Germany, moved west. And, and, and so it's all kind of crazy. Eddie, what? We've already heard a lot, but what do you think is the craziest thing you've ever read, craziest thing you believe, craziest thing you think you've seen? The craziest thing that I've uh, seen and heard is um, a video. It's uh, called Mix Flick of Death and Devotion. It's my album. It's on YouTube for free. That's the craziest thing I've ever heard. Shameless self-promotion from Eddie Bravo. I love it. What's crazier than Flat Earth? That's clear. That's the craziest uh, that's, thing. Yeah. That's the craziest thing. The more, it the, really is. The, the, it's really not, though, but it is. Yeah, like, it is. Yeah. It's, the it's, more you study, the I'll more you it. realize there's been a long con. Uh, these very sm- That's why Anunnaki, listen, I don't know if it's real or not, but the, the notion that they made us, they spliced us in. But so you're still kind of on, like, that whole 10th planet, planet X culture that comes around every He's a flat earther. He just doesn't, he just but, doesn't but want to admit you're, But it. you've already been through that. Like, you've already, already been all through that, yeah. And you're not That's buying what, any of it anymore. No. I just, like, no, no, no. there. How, it's, like, it's like, imagine, imagine, I have a, one of my students. His name is Zach. He's a, an awesome magician. I mean, he could, he, he's, he's been to my, uh, uh, he's been the magician at my Christmas parties and, and I'll hold his wrists 
you know, just, and then he'll do a card trick. And, and I'm like holding this jack. I'm like, how are you, how are you doing these crazy tricks? Like if that guy, if I took that guy to an, uh, remote Island with, a, in, you know, uh, with like natives that live there and they saw him and I left him there, they would think he was a God. Right. And I come, or, or if you I just come took back, a cell phone. Yeah. Day, I, you know? I come back two years later after right? they all worshiping him and after they're all they're talking about how crazy and I try to convince, how long do you think it would take for me to convince them? This is like real shit that he's, he, these are all tricks, right? It, it would be, it would take forever to convince anybody because he wouldn't do the tricks unless I wasn't around. I'm starting uh, to think, how, how am I going to prove it? How am I going to prove it? What do you think about like the whole Einstein Tesla thing? Oh, I mean, like Einstein, wasn't he? Uh, uh, the one thing that's weird, Mason? one thing with well, Einstein, I mean, one thing for sure, if you, if you go to YouTube and you punch in Einstein fraud hoax, a thousand videos come up. But if you put Tesla, Nikola Tesla fraud hoax, nothing comes up. Nobody has any, but the crazy thing. So Tesla's never even taught. And most of Einstein's, uh, Einstein's ideas were originally Tesla's. Yeah. And Tesla talked mad shit on Einstein. He, th he said he was a... Right, I think imbecile. we're running out of dump. We might oh. literally have to... Damn it. Ah, ah, I that one. <laughs> it's just like... it's so normal. I know. You know what I mean? Talk You're saying it's Emerson? Emerson? Uh, no, but you know the one thing... Edison? Edison? Excuse the me. The one thing that's crazy is there are no audio speeches of Tesla talking. And then Tesla was friends with, that, like, uh, John Trump, like... Trump's great uncle or Crazy, something. Right? Oh, they stole. Maybe he's a time traveler. You think Trump's a time traveler? I don't. I, it's hard for me to. Do you believe in time believe, travel? What about dimension travel? All right. How about this? How about this? I'll tell you my crazy thing. So much, the back to the Future was so big about time travel that I, I don't think it works it that way though. Real. Here, all right. You want to hear my craziest real. thing? Yeah. Here's how I think we exist in the realm outside of the 3D. I think is that, this what you really I think, believe? Yeah, I think there's a multiverse that expands by our understanding horizontally, and dimensions that expand vertically. So like we're in the third dimension, you can go up or down, but the multiverse is like side to side. You can like flip and like that's like deja vu and all that crap. That's the craziest thing I believe. Like in some weird, you, in some, well, the, do you have a YouTube you can link? Chemically, you have a you YouTube chemically link? chemically enter this stuff. Yeah, YouTube, banned out video. I'm banned on YouTube, bud. Banned? Banned on YouTube. This guy right here. All right, well, final segment, oh, Eddie Bravo, oh, Sam Tripoli. Yeah, they're on tour right now. Woo! Woo! Making you laugh every night. Woo! Oh, yeah. Bringing out the flat earthers. Woo! We're talking right now. We're talking Austin. Stay inside at the pair of my brother and I plan on bringing the holy Jesus down on these people with the truth. That's right. Me, my man, Eddie Bravo, right here. We are going to bring comedy mania to the stateside theater. Get there and feel the thunder. Woo! That was beautiful. Tomorrow night, That's Friday night, Nacho stateside band. theater. Tin foil hat comedy. Don't miss it. Can you give us a, uh, can we get a little preview, just a little hint, a little taste, a little flavor? Uh, about what, what, about what? You got another joke you can share with us? You had a joke earlier. A joke? The NASA I, I, joke. I a joke. You had the NASA I joke. I have jokes. I, like, I live in L.A. L.A. so bad, spinning Grand Theft Auto twice. That's how bad the city is. <laughs> you ever play the game? Everything is in the game. Everything is in that game. Well, no, no, no. The uh, most recent one was based off L.A., wasn't it? Yeah. Dude, yeah. I'm telling you. Everything's in the game. Hollywood sign, comedy clubs. I found my apartment in the game. I drove up. I shot my neighbor, you know, because that guy's always partying. Did he get paid park. for the likeness of that? I, they should. They should pay me because I'm. This guy I'm goes selling. into Grand. He hates his neighbor so much. He goes into Grand Theft Auto and shoots him. Right? That's messed up, bro. You just got red flagged. Yeah. I, oh yeah. You yeah. don't get a Second Amendment now. God. I'm gonna get that. That's my other tattoo. I got this. I got First Amendment. This. That's that. What I just got. Eddie, you've been on a lot of tours. What's the difference between this one and ones you've been on in the past? Well, this is the first tour I've been on. That it was a, a comedy tour. Uh, I don't know if I you'd consider what I've done before tours, but I've been all over the world well, how many, teaching jujitsu. You've got jujitsu jiu studios all over the yeah, states. Yeah, but I don't really. I don't. It all depends how you define a tour. Are you still do, going and teaching though? At yes, each one? Yeah. I, I'm teaching at 10th Planet Austin uh, this Saturday, Saturday afternoon at noon. I consider that a tour when you go around all your studios. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but then I come home, and then I go back. I don't like. I don't like lying. So this is the first time you're on the road doing a bunch of shows. Um, well, like we kind of do the same thing with comedy too. We go out for a week, and then we come back home during the week. Go. That's how a lot of comedians do it. Not too many, right? Go yeah. out and, and hit like a uh, a different spot every night or every other night. Uh, most of the comedians I know, they go out for a weekend and then they come back during the week. Then they go back another. So that's what we're doing. So you can I call that a tour. Oh my God. On stage. 
Yeah. That should be part of the thing is you try to kick his ass. No, dude. And then you're just like. He would kill me in a heartbeat. No, People would love true. to see that, though. Not true. Not true. That's good entertainment. I love him, dude. He's the best. We do a show afterwards. He has a sermon, and then him and I go back to the hotel, eat crappy food, and go to bed because we're old men, and that's what we like to do. We like to tell jokes and go to sleep. That's who we are. And so where are you at right now on the tour? The middle of it, the beginning, the end? Well, let's, It's a constant one. We got... We're about to be in New York City in October at the uh, Gramercy. That's October 4th. We're very excited. We're working on a uh, Vegas one. So we Salt Lake City, uh, October 19th, Portland, December 20th. Um, we got Vegas coming up. Um, we got. Um, What's the website where they can get all this information? Uh, my Twitter. You don't have a website? Tin we do have a website. It's in, it's in the work hat right comedy. now. It's in the work right now. It's okay. tinfoilhatpodcast.com. We're working on the everything right What's now. What's your Twitter so people can go see that? At Sam Tripoli, T-R-I-P-O-L-I. You can actually get all these dates at samtripoli.com for real. And you can also watch my both my specials live from the Viper Room. I was really nervous. I thought two people were going to die at the Viper Room. But uh, I actually, it went really well. And you can see it. Yep, that's it. You scroll down just a little bit. You can see the... Uh, the two things right there and then on the calendar on the side is all the dates there you go everybody can go check that out when you guys are in new york salt lake city people there go check it out and you promise you said you promised to make them laugh or their money back right yeah oh that's a guarantee guarantee oh we go hard do you bring up any uh conspiracy theories at all or do you kind of make fun of each other with that it you know what Like you should do it. It's not like it's not like a conspiracy theory comedy show. It's not quite like that. It's what, what the, the the thought behind it was. But it is tinfoil hat comedy. Yeah, but we sprinkle in co conspiracy. It's hard to make conspiracy theories funny. I don't oh, think so. Right? Can I give you an idea right now? Okay. Yeah, go for it. All right, how about this for a skit? We get we get Eddie Bravo dressed up as an astronaut. Well, like, this isn't like, a variety show. This yeah. isn't a sketch comedy. Well, hold show. Hold on, are you going to let me finish? Okay, okay go What are you, Carol Burnett? What you can do a YouTube. <laughs> You can do a YouTube video where you do this. Seriously, you'll love this. You get dressed up as an astronaut, all right? Okay. And you pretend you're out in space, right? Okay. And uh, you, you just do your hair like the astronauts do it and just spike it straight up and just spike your hair straight up. And you're just like harnessed there like, yeah, I'm floating to the moon right now. And you can like pretend like you're talking to him down on Earth. And you can be like, What what's wrong with your hair? Nothing. That's just the lack of gravity. But it's like literally just like straight up pointing. Like those chicks on the ISS? Well, no, they're not faking it, obviously. <laughs> I'm just saying that would be part you of your that? skit. Do you believe that? I I'm just saying part of your skit. <laughs> you, think, you, know, you think there's an international space station floating out there for the last 20 years and going 17,000 miles an hour? How about them 50, saying 50. that the moon is in the Earth's atmosphere? Like it's like touching it. Like, no, come it's, on, man. It's, now it's in the atmosphere now. It's just the ball. Like, and then you got Neil deGrasse Tyson. Wait a second. Are you a flat earther now? No. I'm, Did this I just happen in an hour? No. What I'm telling you is, like, you I weren't even trying either. NASA says. I say question it all. Question it all. Like, dude, I think Trump's done really great stuff. Question him on everything. On everything. Question you. Question me. Question it all. Don't just buy it. I mean, like, dude, there's so many things they say that don't add up and that they're just base, blame BS. It's just ridiculous. Now, now the moon's in our atmosphere. Dude, you ever look into the moon and how shady the moon is? I've looked at the surface of the moon. Half the moon is shady. Like the moon does, okay, the moon's like nothing else in the universe. It has a perfect orbit. It doesn't rotate. Why? It's like it doesn't make sense. It's the it's exact same professor. face. It's the same face no matter what. Professor, yeah. the moon is made of cheese. Okay. No, I've seen, here's what's, here's what's crazy about it. I mean, I, I've, I used to be really into telescopes, um, and I've seen the surface of the moon multiple times, multiple different lenses. I mean, It's definitely a dusty surface. I mean, at least. How do you know it's dust? Unless you think it's all hologram. How about the fact that all the uh, craters are the exact same depth? They're all. Well, how do we know that? Because, well, how Is that what they claim? How do you know it's dust? Well, it looks like dust. I mean, I've seen dust before. Some, I mean, you can those get, are you scientists can look who thought, at the surface of the moon well, with a telescope. I mean, they're can, all the same length. There's none of them deeper, which probably means they hit something. So. All of this UFO disclosure, or I guess you might think it's fake disclosure, is coming out. What What do you think about this? Because it's they're going mainstream they're now. Yeah, they're preparing. They're going hard with uh, the fake alien invasion. They got to go now. Uh, Area 51, that if they don't use the fake alien invasion during that whatever raid they call it, they're, they're blowing it. Because that's what they, they called do. it off, though. 
Yeah, but just know they let that thing go forever, a, a raid Area 51, and immediately took down raid the Fed. They someone wanted to raid the Federal Reserve, and that lasted about two hours before that was taken off of Facebook. So, I mean, it just is. You want to hear the weirdest conspiracy you were bringing up? I right. think, like, five families own everything in the United States. That's uh, uh, Fritz Springmeier, Bloodlines of the Illuminati, right? But it was seven bloodlines, I thought. Yeah, it's like seven families, and they literally own everything. How about the fact that you don't pay your taxes to a U.S. government institution? See, but here's my thing. I, I don't disagree with you, but I can't even get I can't even get fellow Americans to leap like the hurdle 10 before that, which is your income gets taxed four times before you consume whatever it is you're consuming. You get hit with your income tax. You get hit with uh, Medicare tax. You get hit with uh, all property tax. You get hit with all kinds of taxes when you spend consumer taxes. Literally, you're taxed like four damn times before you even consume anything. People don't even care about that. They can't even comprehend that. They don't even realize that Woodrow Wilson was the biggest trader of, of all time in this country. Ben McDonald's got to be like, really? me? I'm the guy? When this guy gave us the Federal Reserve and the tax and, and personal tax in the on Christmas Eve when everybody else was home. That's what they like to do, though, right? Right on Christmas Eve. How much legislation has been signed on Christmas no, Eve? No, how much Incredibly shady stuff goes down during the Super Bowl? Merry Christmas. That's my question. When nobody's watching... Nobody's watching the Super Bowl? You mean? No, no, when everybody's watching the Super Bowl, nobody's paying attention to what else is going on anywhere else in this country. I don't know. I think there, there is a trend, though. They always sign stuff on Christmas Eve. Like, that's like a thing. I don't even know why. Yeah. But they always do it. Sh- Merry <laughs> Christmas. All right. It's been a pleasure. Sam Tripoli, Eddie Bravo, Tinfoil Hat Comedy Tour. Thank you. You guys are awesome. It's Thank been a blast. Everybody. I appreciate you. And uh, try not to fall off the edge of the flat earth on your way out of the studio. All right. But seriously, I want to see you upside down with a harness claiming you're on the moon or on the ISS. Either way, Eddie Bravo in space. We need space. a green screen. We said we were going to float around the planet in a hot air balloon. When are we going to do it?